coming to you from my backyard shack in Van Nuys, California. It's the second season of Man of Conviction. Says what he wants, but is all contradicted. He's a man of conviction, but he's, but he's never been convicted. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. This is season two of Man of Conviction. My first guest is going to be my 14-year-old son, Mateo. He's agreed to talk to me, and uh, he's quite an interesting character, wise beyond his years, and a great interview subject, I must say. So please uh, sit back and have a listen to a little father-son banter. Okay, we are coming to you from Van Nuys Quarantine Zone. (laughs) We've been locked down for how many days, Mateo? I'm starting to lose count. It's got to be, it's got to be 40. That sounds about right. 30, 40, 40. And that would be, that would be convenient because as we know, the word quarantine comes from the Latin or probably, I don't know if it's through Italian or Spanish, but I know that's quaranta. And it is 40 in Italian and Isn't that 40 like the, in the Spanish. highest number they count to in the Bible or something like that? Really? They yeah, only... they, 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 40 days and nights or something like that. Ah, so but that's as high as they go? Yeah. Huh. I think, um, yeah, it's like so no you, point counting past 40. You, you haven't... Useless. You haven't, but you haven't read the Bible. No, I just heard that. You heard sure. that, of course. We don't read the Bible in our house, do we? No, but let's not get all snarky about it. Okay, you're right. We, 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 I don't read the Bible. Well, we. I've read. I'm not religious. I well, I've read, um, you know, parts of the Bible just as kind of literature, and it's interesting for sure. All right, so we're a bunch of atheists, but that's not what this is about. This Mateo is the inaugural edition of season two. Season two. Man of conviction. <laughs> so you're 14, right? No, I'm 20. 20. I am Has 20. it really gone that fast? Okay, he's 14, everybody. He's 14. This I know for sure. Um, really? Well. You just asked me like 10 seconds ago, so well, do you know was, for sure? I was trying to engage you <laughs> in a question-answer situation. That's a bad question. You're right. God, you're right, Mateo. You are right. Okay, <laughs> so... You're really not doing your schoolwork. We're not going to get this is going to be a punishment podcast, but you, you pretty much haven't been doing some of it, but most of it's dance, and I don't count that. Where you're doing poor is, is in the dance department. You're getting good yeah, grades was, in a few classes, mm, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, I know, but like I don't like my PE class because it's dumb. Well, and how do you do PE from you know from here? We should probably do some exercise, but um, that's, I play that's Wii another sports. point. Oh, that's right, we sports. Okay, you're you're exempt. I think there's a uh, Going to be an Olympic category for that coming up. We sports competitive. We sports. Yeah, might be just the right age group to get into the twenty twenty four. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good thing this is in high school, and it's a good thing it's not your senior year. Yeah, it's my brother's uh, junior year. Junior. Yeah, luckily it's he he just uh, took the SAT kind of right. Yeah. When he found out they're not going to count them, <laughs> and he did all right. So um, unfortunately. Um, you know you can cheat the SAT? No. I don't the SAT. What is it called? Wait, no. The, the ones that like you have to take in your browser, and then what they do is they like make it lock, or, like lock it down. They lock down your computer. What you do is you just um, you run the computer in a virtual machine, and then you can Google the answers if you really want to. I like that. Or one of the ones where you have to have like a webcam facing you, so you're being monitored. Someone, uh, they they what they they told their story. They what they did is they had someone lay down. And they could see that they could see the computer from where they were laying down, and they would Google all the the questions, and they would touch specific points of their legs. A, B, C, or D. A, 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 yeah, because it's a multi choice. Wow, that's clever. It's a clever way to cheat. I feel like that person's gonna grow up to be like a bank robber or something. Most likely, safe cracker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go to North Hollywood High School. Yes. Starting in the fall, hopefully. Starting in the fall, <laughs> not hopefully for me. I'm 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 enjoying not doing that much of work. Yeah, you're sleeping. You're staying up till wee hours of the morning, and then sleeping till. I know you slept till at least one p.m. At, a couple of times. 
more than that, definitely. <laughs> Your voice has gotten so deep, Mateo, so deep. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get to Vin Diesel levels of deep voice. Maybe you just watch. Maybe um, we we're gonna get you a carton of uh, filterless um, Camel cigarettes and a case of whiskey. Get you started because that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Diet. No. I'll die at eighty. I was gonna do that anyway because of how fat I am. <laughs> at eighty? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, uh, that's still. If you make it to eighty, I think that's pretty good. I mean, I'll... I mean, for America, it is. <laughs> you're right about that. Um, um, Tom Clark, uh, you're um. you're you're, um, you know Tom. We've worked together, okay. and uh, he he wanted to know what your <laughs> dream job was. Um. Break it down. Don't just say something. Just like describe it in detail. Your dream CEO job. CEO and owner of a company that makes a lot of money. I don't care what it's in, in computers and medicine and whatever. You just want to rack. Just, you want you want to have like. I have stacks. I, I'm like I'm. What's that guy's name? Jeff Bezos. I want that kind of I want that kind of cash in my life. Okay, so you want to like have several supercars and yep. properties around the world and a couple of jets and yeah, three or four marriages that type of thing. Marriages, <laughs> marriages. Okay, never mind. No, uh, no marriages. No, you think you're gonna? St- no, I don't want. I don't want kids. You don't want kids. No. Okay, so no grandchildren uh, for me. You, I mean, if you want kids, I'll fine, but I'll I won't parent them. I'll uh, pay someone else to. Oh, uh, I guess I guess that's okay. You probably drop them off with us. We'll, we'll yeah. We'll probably end up. Too. You okay with that? I'm okay with that. Cool, cool. So, what do you think about? Uh, are you scared of this virus? Not really, because I'm young. So it's not going to do anything to me. But I mean, well, that's what they say. There are there, with, there have been young people that have gotten it and died. You know. Yeah, but I'm saying if you live with an old person, obviously, you should be careful. So I'm being careful. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm only 51. I'm not that old. I, don't uh, think, I think I, that's in the that's in the more death range right there. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think as you, and I don't have any, I don't have diabetes or high blood pressure. Or, are you sure? You drink a lot of Coke. Uh, I don't have high blood pressure. I'm talking about diabetes. I don't have diabetes. Do you have much sugars in those cokes? It's a yeah, lot of sugars. You're right. You're right. The one thing about you, Mateo, is you do not drink soda, except you know, bubbly drinks like you know, like sparkling water and stuff. That's but not soda. I know. That's sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. You like the carbonation, but you just don't like. I, lo- I love that you don't don't drink soda. You like okay. to burp, but you don't like the sugar. Um. I think the saying... I do like the sugar. You do like sugar, but not in that form. Not in soda. It's um, not really that appetizing. What do you say about um, water? It's, it's the best drink. What do you say? Water is the superior it's beverage. The superior beverage. Yeah. I'm a hydro homie. You're a hydro homie? Hydro homie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, like you and your, your hydro buddies go out and spread the good news about drinking water? Yeah. Just, y- you do little dance numbers. I can see it. Little, yeah. little skits. Go buy, that, go buy Fiji. Yeah, I could see it now. You guys do a few musical numbers, some sort of skits that have. Wow, he's slamming a a, a plain Lacroix right now. Is it Lacroix? You're supposed to say. I don't know. I don't it's care. It's French word, and it means the cross. I don't really care about the French part. I like the water part. <laughs> the French language kind of weird. I don't like it. They have weird pronunciation. It's also, true. their vehicles are unreliable. Uh, please go into more detail. Um. I know somebody who had a Citroen and it was and it broke down all the time. So, yeah, I think those good. are notoriously bad bad cars. Uh, Leno has one of those that like has the lowers to the ground. Like, oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like you get in and it it raises up when you get out of the car, but then when it's time to drive, it like goes down about Wait, four I think or I, five I inches. I think I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> and it hugs the road. Yeah, I remember it was in an episode of Top Gear. Ah, uh, was it? Yeah. Jeremy Clarkson, who I is he friends with Jay Leno? I believe they know each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, they used. Um, he built like a big camper van on top of it. it oh was, yeah, like, really tall. Uh huh. And he used the lowering suspension to lower it so it didn't hit the top of the of the ceiling of the gas of where you fill up your car. Oh, you mean the um, the roof of the gas station? Gas station. That's what I, I, I don't know. Why I forgot the word gas station. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> it's we haven't put gas in our cars in so long, and that we have the you know. But it's really cheap right now. So what you should do, get one of them fifty-five barrel drums and just fill it up. Uh, yeah, it is cheap, isn't it? It's really cheap now. So well, I know should... it's going for negative, the, like the, the, the oh the bo- the oh, the oil. Yeah, the 
oil prices. What do you mean negative? Like you would pay someone to take it off their hands? Yeah, they were at a point where they were paying people to take it off their hands. We should do that. What, stock it up in the backyard here? Yeah, get a bunch of crude oil. You're right, Mateo. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to make a call on Monday. Yeah. We're going to get some crude oil in here. I'm sure it's safe and stuff, and I'm sure our neighbors wouldn't mind. I remember, was it Hong Kong was the most expensive gas, and Venezuela Mm. was the cheapest. (laughs) Oh, yeah, Venezuela has a lot of oil, right? Yeah, they have their own, their own oil, yeah. You know, I worked in Venezuela in 1995. Really? 94, 95, yeah. Is that when... Before uh, Chavez was even there. Oh, so it was... It was uh, okay to was be it there. Like Safe. A, was it socialism still there? It was. There was a, a. I don't know if it was a center or a right wing government, but it mm-hmm. was. It was not very socialist. No, there was. Oh, um, cool. Nice. Yeah, that was a, that was a while back, but that was a, yeah. It was a crazy. It was like uh, you know, it's really cheap now. What I was gonna get some, but um, you have to pay a bunch of it for shipping. I'm gonna buy some Venezuelan dollars because they're really cheap. Interesting. I, I actually have a bunch of those. I brought. I brought a bunch back. Not. No, I'm talking about like nowadays. They're, they 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 because you know it's... it was cheap back then, dude. It was it was cheap back. You then. know you could pay you pay ten dollars and you get forty thousand Bolivian dollars or not Bolivian. What they're I they're called say Bolivian. Bo- Bolivars. Bolivars. That's why I was. Th- yeah. That's why I said Bolivia. <laughs> yeah. Named after you know who they're named after. Mm-mm. Simon Bolivar. He was the guy who um, liberated that northern part of South America oh. f- for for Spain or from Spain. Yeah. I think it's um, maybe Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador. I believe were all liberated by him, and they all they all pay homage to him. They love him. He's like a hero. Yeah, down there. But speaking of uh, dictatorships, yeah, isn't like Kim Jong Un like really sick right now? <clears throat> there are rumors that he is sick. Um, mm-hmm. I have heard that. In fact, um, our president was asked about it, and he said that. He hopes he's okay, but he hasn't talked to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and and um, there are rumors that his sister is poised to take Ooh. over. Ooh. His younger sister. I believe he's, he's, uh, she's younger. And, um, yeah, he may have had some operation yeah. that went bad. But you, uh, you know what I thought of? No. No, no, no. I didn't think of this. I mean, um, I saw a comment that said it was under a thing like the, talking about how you're sick. They wrote, Kim Jong-il. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was his dad. Yeah, I know. Well, it was his dad's but name. Yeah. Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Un Il. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's uh, it's the way of the world. Unfortunately, our 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 dear neighbor. Did you know um, Margie woke up today unresponsive, and they took her oh. into the hospital. Oh. I, I don't. I think she, I I haven't heard, but she was alive, but like oh, unres- unresponsive, like 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 she maybe she had a stroke or something and she couldn't sp- yeah. she couldn't speak i don't know what it was i still don't know it's so sad they're, 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 they're re- i really have become very attached to to my neighbors they're a nice old couple and they're getting quite a long in years yeah a stroke is when a blood i yeah, believe a, a blood a lot of red blood cells goes to the brain and it messes it up yeah, and it can it could depend on where what part of the brain it affects. It can affect speech. It can affect like your movement. It can yeah, it makes your face go cool, funny, right? It can do that too. Yeah, it can tweak your face up. It can make you forget all kinds of stuff, and it can just Ooh. flat out kill you. Yeah, yeah. Strokes are, are are awful. Strokes and heart attacks are the kind of the, the things that usually take people out. Those yeah, are... heart related illnesses is the number one cause of death in the United States. Um, did you hear though that um, in Los Angeles County? The mm-hmm. number one cause of death is COVID nineteen. That's crazy. Yeah. Like like re- like recently. Yeah. What about like overall? Like, is there any? What is what? Who? What do people die from here? Well, I mean, yeah, those are you know, those are your killers right there. Um, heart disease. Heart, heart disease, sh- stroke related. Um, Issues yeah. with the heart. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's the, we don't have very strong hearts, Americans. Well, our fat. The fat ones. Well, you know, things can be done about that. You can work on your cardio and strengthen your heart. And this is America. We're not doing that. There are many people who are fit, Mateo. You don't have to just decide that because everybody's not fit, um, you're just going to um, go with it. Um, no, no, I'm joking because, okay. you know, and that's what people are saying. The people who are like, the people who protested the lockdowns, for example. Yeah. They're like, come on, this is America. Yeah, we, we, we do what we want. Like, no. Well, you probably should not 
go out right now. Yeah, do you really need a haircut and a tattoo? Your, <laughs> I, I know you're thinking about your right to leave, but it's other people's right not to get infected with the viruses. Yeah, so. and if we can um, just get testing going so we know yeah. who has it, who yeah. doesn't have it, who can needs to be quarantined, that would really mm. help the situation. And I think it's it's you know hopefully going to start to happen. Like it's, I think we're gonna probably get released from being in quarantine in like what I'm gonna guess a month or two. I think that's a good, that's a pretty good uh, estimate. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. you're probably right. Today's date is what the 24th, uh, Friday, April 24th. We're recording this. Yes. Yeah. So your mom has a plans to go to Spain at the <laughs> yeah. beginning of <laughs> July. It's possible she'll be able to go. I um, I was gonna go in May. I was gonna go do this program. Yeah, but that's not happening. So not happening because that would, I would be leaving in about like two to three weeks. Yeah, I, I wish I could have gone with you too. Yeah, well uh, maybe camera we'll, assistant. Well, maybe we'll do something next. Can uh, we do that? Yeah, that'd be cool. You, you got to work though. It's not fun. I, no, no, I will get. I will work. Okay. And you pay me. Uh, no. no. Two dollars. No, no. I'll take care. I'll feed you and and train you, and you can be my apprentice, and you will learn many things. Okay. Yeah. And if it's a successful show, then. Then we, then I'm a t- I'm a I'm a PA and I then I run and get coffees. Oh no, you'll be a producer. If we get if we yeah, get, uh, <laughs> producer. I'm just gonna be sitting in that in that folding chair. I'm gonna be like, you know, nope, it's not good again. That's a director. Um, you could come and talk to the director and say, hey, uh, I don't think this you know actor is working out. Maybe we can hire someone else. Well, That's not, what a it's producer. A, it's would a reality do. show, but it's not it's not like a reality show like you know, drama, but like reality show. It's a travel show. It's a travel show, so yeah. it's, not, it's not an actor. You're right. We sh- you should get one of those gimbals for a camera. Okay. That I see in B&H catalog. Okay, I'll get one. So you can so you can travel holding the camera, and it's pretty. You're right. It's all. You're right. So there's a, um, a guy that you uh, work with at school that we've known for many years, Luca. Mm-hmm. Our friend... Uh, um, met him at wonderland elementary he was you know working with you to kind of like keep you Make on track me not distracted all the time yeah you have you you have add and you adhd kinda, adhd come yes. on dude well you know you're mostly ad instead of hd i don't see you very hyper really <laughs> no <laughs> anyway um but uh he's he's kind of your teacher's assistant te- teacher's assistant but with a focus to on you, me on because i'm like the that kid, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could say that. And um, anyway, uh, he just had a kid, and I've uh, been talking to him, and yep. hopefully, we're, he's gonna um, when this is all done, he's gonna come and maybe be on the podcast too. So, you'd be very interesting. He has a lot of stories to tell. I bet he does. Yeah, I've heard a few of them, and they're they're interesting for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna send this over to Luca. So he, so you want to say something to him? Uh, I miss you a lot, Luca. Isn't that nice? Yeah, we miss you too, bro. So hopefully, um. We getting together, and you guys, are, you guys are gonna Facetime next week, or I'm Sweet. sure, right? Yeah. Give me some All right. Pointers um, on schoolwork or whatever. So you get, you got a few Bs and a c- couple of Cs, and yeah. no Ds, right? Nope, all gone. Okay. I have an A. I have one A. That's good. What'd you get the A in? Math. Science, I think. Science, awesome. You're consider this good practice for high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's gonna be a little harder. Probably, but I think you'll do. I think you'll do okay. I'm not worried. Max is doing cool. great. Your brother, follow his example. He uh, gets good grades. Yeah, but does his homework and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do that, dude. It's got. It's got to happen. I only need four more years out of you. That's it, and then college. But <clears throat> you know, if I'll you go want to college, I'll definitely. I'll, I'll go. What should I go to college in? I think I'm gonna go for. Like business or something. Yeah, business administration would be the uh, the way to go if that's what you want to do. Learn how. Yeah, to... I think I, I have an idea. I want to produce. Um, what's that thing called? Insulin. <clears throat> you okay. know why? No, why? It's a genius. I see so many people online being like, "Insulin is way too expensive." Right. It's ridiculous. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell it for still a ridiculous price, but a lot less ridiculous. So people will come to me. You're going to undercut the I'm going to monopolize the in- insulin business. Okay. I guess that's a plan. I mean... Y- then I'm going to move to Switzerland, so they won't tax me that much. Okay. I think you got this all worked out. Um, all right, folks. Well, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up here. 
Thank you. I have to pee real bad. (laughs) Okay. I think it's all the LaCroix I drank. Thank you, Mateo. I appreciate your uh, candid interview, and uh, thanks for being on the show. Uh, Thank you for having me. All right. That was my son, Mateo. Enjoyable little character, uh, wouldn't you say? Yeah, Mateo, uh, he's going to be going into ninth grade, as we discussed, and... uh, I think uh, hopefully he takes it a little more seriously than he did in middle school. But, um, you know, he'll do all right. Not worried. And, um, you know, if he decides to go to a trade school or something like that, that's going to save me a lot of money. But I see that boy in college. All right, everybody. Tune in next week for another member of my family. Uh, Perhaps uh, my wife will come in here and make me look ridiculous. 